but now it is time for Stugatz's weekend observations. It is time for Stugatz to share his game notes. No one in the media will tell you what happened better than my boy Stu. Dan, you can't spell overrated without the U. The only person happier about Pitt beating Miami than the Pitt players, coaches, and fans was Dan Levitard. That's not true. That's eh, kind of true. No. It's kind of true. No. You wanted to be right all season, no, and now you're right. UCF is the best team in the state. Well, that's the truth. For the second time in three weeks, my football Saturday was better than my football Sunday. Haven't confirmed yet, but I'm hearing the guy who was behind the Ray Allen catfish story was Rajon Rondo. <laughs> Dak Prescott. More like Whack Prescott. There it is. What happened there? I mean, hey, he's I'm, not playing well. Yeah, but like you know what Philip Rivers carved up for Thanksgiving? The Cowboys defense. Why does Baker Mayfield have to be Johnny Manziel? Why can't he be Philip Rivers? Here's what I see in Baker Mayfield's future. Down seven, length of the field to go, and eight kids. What? Dak, what? what do you mean? What happened there? <laughs> More Dak jokes? Yeah, I'm not done with Dak yet. All right. Dak to Dak to Dak. Awful games for the Cowboys. <laughs> I know he beat Virginia Tech and Notre Dame, but Mark Richt can't win the big game. <laughs> oh, come on. If Miami beats Clemson mm. and doesn't get in, I'm quitting college football. Derek Rose has some cuckoo in him. Baker Mayfield, <laughs> welcome to the Heisman House. If Baker Mayfield doesn't grab his crotch during his Heisman speech, I'm quitting Baker Mayfield, Ohio State, Michigan, the game, more like the meaningless game. The Cavs are coming. It's amazing how likable Russell Westbrook has become and how unlikable Kevin Durant has become. You'd think winning a title would soften Kevin Durant just a bit, but it makes sense. He's still acting like a jerk. Because I must remind you that Kevin Durant still doesn't have a title in my personal record book. Losses hurt a lot more when all season you've been flaunting around a $50,000 turnover chain. You know who has Nick Saban's number? Gus Malzahn. You know who has Jim Harbaugh's number? Everyone. I threw up after my Thanksgiving meal. Not because I ate too much, because... I was watching the Giants offense. Rare is the day you could say that Alabama basketball was better than Alabama football. They, they played three on five. They played three on five and almost won the game. They were down 20, and they came all the way back playing three on five. <laughs> they played three on five with for Avery Johnson and covered? Uh, I think they did cover. It was and a great cover. It was a great cover, and it got me thinking. If the Warriors want to impress me, they should play every game with just three guys. Win a championship, three on five, and maybe I'll give Durant a ring in my personal record book. The Philadelphia Eagles have that look. Unfortunately, so do the Patriots. Three reasons. There are so few black head coaches in college football. Chip Kelly, Dan Mullen, and Greg Schiano. Know which sheriff? Should never be in town. The one that plays backup quarterback for the Canes. Oh, Dan Tyrod Taylor is back. Unfortunately, so is Alex Smith. I missed Nathan Peterman. Don't look now, but we may have a quarterback controversy in Green Bay. It took Marvin Lewis 12 weeks to realize Joe Mixon is good. Patrick Mahomes, you're up. Blake Bortles can scoot. Blake the Snake. Speaking of snakes, I told you, Urban Meyer would slither his way back into the conversation. <laughs> Death, taxes, yeah. Russell Wilson running for his life in a backwards <laughs> loop for 15 yards every drop back. That is unbelievable.
It's amazing, <laughs> right? It, it can't be what they called. It can't be. <laughs> it's never what they called. He could never just drop back. <laughs> he can never do what they told him to do. He just, he just runs backwards in a spiraling <laughs> loop of death. <laughs> the Bears rush for six yards. Tariq Cohen. Hopefully for Hanukkah, you'll get a new coach. Julio Jones, welcome back. The Spurs are 12 and 7 without Tony Parker and Kawhi Leonard. Spolstra and them boys starting to heat up. Michael Crabtree, you're lucky to be alive today. Michael Crabtree, sleep with one eye open for the remainder of your life. Brady Hoke, 1 and 3 against Ohio State. Jim Harbaugh, 0 oh and 3 against Ohio State. For all the jobs he could leave for, is Jimbo really leaving for Texas A&M? If so, you know what that means. Lane Kiffin, FSU, collision course. FSU, lack of institutional control, collision course. Blue Jackets, Golden Knights, Lord Stanley, collision course. Paxton Lynch has nine completions for 41 yards. No joke here, just letting you know, Paxton Lynch had nine completions for 41 yards. Okay, fine. Here's a joke. I haven't seen facial hair struggle that badly on a football field since the Buccaneers changed their logo. Blaine Gabbert, not terrible. Jim Harbaugh, oh, uh, it wasn't terrible. Blaine oh. Gabbert's been pretty good for the Cardinals. Uh, a couple of weeks now, he hasn't been terrible. And not terrible for Blaine Gabbert is pretty good. Jim Harbaugh, Miami Dolphins, collision course. I'm pretty certain Nick Saban has received three raises and a new house over the last two days. Ranked number two in the country in three consecutive days. Losses to unranked NC State. Loses to unranked SMU. Loses to a two-loss Purdue team by 25 points. But I promise you, none of this was his fault. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the most overrated coach in the country. Let's hear it for Sean Miller. Joel Embiid saying he was 81% after being called out by Jalen Rose when he said he was 69% with the 81 representing the number of points Kobe put up on Jalen in a single game is the greatest sports diss of all time. Joel, please win and win big. I want to hear more. But until you win, shut up. Courtesy of Chris Law, Chip Kelly, over the past seven years, has signed over $100 million in contracts. Courtesy of me, he's won nothing. And coaching is a scam. Speaking of scams. That's what I was saying last segment. And you guys came at me with, hey, you don't want, don't want Nebraska to, to, to hire anybody? I said it better. Speaking of scams, art. Someone bought Leonardo da Vinci's portrait of Christ, Salvador Mundi, for over $450 million. Who the hell is Salvador Mundi, and who the hell is Leonardo da Vinci? Speaking of art oh, here we and go. hell, are Brian. There it is! Dan, <laughs> those are the weekend observations. Speaking of art and hell, uh, art I just Brian. gave up at the end. <laughs> Money, 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 money. <laughs> I was talking about art and hell and it put everything together. And it equals our Bryles. Look at this guy. <laughs>